Another personality that I've known for whew, a really, really long time is Gilad Sasson from Nikuda. He's been in the digital marketing space, SEO space, I don't know, since like before there was an SEO space, I believe back in like 2000 or early 2000s. I could be wrong. I think he was spamming and jamming back in the day. Talked to him a little bit about that and some other topics. So looking forward to you meeting with him. He's also one of the people who have dramatically and drastically actually helped me run XMX events in Israel and so forth. So hopefully I'll be bringing it back as well. We're gonna be talking about maybe the future of search with zero clicks and so forth, online marketing niches, such as in the medical cannabis area, um, some other things as well. So again, he's been in the space for probably since I think 1999 or earlier. Um, I'm looking forward to you meeting him all, meeting with him as well. Hey, it's sponsor time. You heard me talk about Ezoic before. They recently launched their site speed accelerator, which instantly guarantees an 80 plus Google page speed score improving your website's UX and ranking. What you may not know about Ezoic is that they are primarily a technology for publishers. They're best known for helping content creators automate complex operations related to monetizing their content. The platform lets publishers create experiments that machine learning will then execute to help publishers increase ad revenue and balance user experience along the way. If you'd like to learn more about Ezoic, the site Speed Accelerator, or their complete platform for publishers, you can visit www.ezoic.com. You look pretty, you look pretty? I'm always pretty. Always pretty. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gilad, thank you so much for coming out to see me. I appreciate it. We've thank known each other for a very long time and still, even though we've known each other for a long time, you still came out to see me. I don't get why, but thank you so much. Even though you don't like seeing me too much, I appreciate you coming out. Can you please tell people who you are if they don't know you? Hi, I'm uh, Gilad Sasson. Uh, I'm also known as uh, Alcoholic in the forums uh, as my uh, internet handle. Uh, I'm doing SEO for a long time, almost 20 years. I have a consulting agency, it's called Nekuda, and I was also uh, very much involved with search in uh, many companies and corporates, uh, mostly in Israel. Uh, at first I was uh, working for the Israeli Yellow Pages, I was in charge of uh, all search engine optimization of the sites, now it's called the Zap Group. I also was in charge of the site, so I know the, the algorithm and the, the way uh, the search engine works from, uh, let's call it, from the site side. It's been a... It's been a nice ride. It's been a nice ride. Long ride, yeah. Yeah, so you started in 1999 by spamming. By uh, buying domains and uh, selling traffic, yeah, spamming. You were in the dark areas of search, right? Am I making that up? I could be making that up. Yeah, you could be making that up. I, I think I, it would be fair to say that between 1999 to 2002, 2003, uh, I had more than 50% of my venture related with Black Hat. Yeah. Black Hat, and a lot of that was affiliates though. Yeah. Right? So, we all did. We all did some affiliate stuff back in the old days. I don't know about all, but I did. Yeah. I, I think if you were doing SEO in 1999, I think you was a pretty good chance you were doing affiliate stuff. Oh. And it was interesting because I know we spoke, we met probably in the SEO forums um, back in the day. Webmaster World, maybe. Webmaster World, Dude. SEO Chat. SEO Chat, yeah. SEO Guy. SEO Chat was my first real, I, I, that was my first real like forum that I loved. And then Darren Ward, Darren Ward. Yeah. He sold out and sold it to a company. I don't know what he's up to now. Have you spoken to him? I have no idea. I'll try to track him down and interview him. Um, then obviously Webmaster. Digital, digital point. Digital point, mean, yeah. I should interview him. <laughs> we, I, had, we had we, all these cool SEO tools. I had so much fun coming to work. That, I think I, I, really, I, really, uh, I really enjoyed working then. Much more than today. <laughs> well, now it's all like professional. Yeah. And back then it was like you just scrapped together some things and like... I think that the, the, the ability to learn something new every day was uh, very enthusiastic. Something that yeah. it's good in life. Now you have to wear a tie every single time you go to work. It's like more... Yeah. Back then it was literally just trying to figure out or hack a way into something and yeah. find a solution. But we all have to grow up over the years, right? <laughs> anyway, so let's move on to I think 2004 or so you went do the yellow pages stuff i think we met at an xmx event um in person at one of the yeah we well, first met at, right? at, the, at the first pubcon at the 2005 the pubcon that i was at and uh, a year later we also met at smx advanced in seattle that it's was a, the first xmx event yeah, yeah that was good too it's an event I'm, to remember we, yeah. i think we just everybody i speak to this that i've known for a long time we all miss the old days yeah Can we go back to the old days and then obviously you helped me tremendously with xmx israel events um, getting to know the Israeli SEO community, mm -hmm. which is really great. And hopefully, ho I'm hoping, don't, not on record, even though it's on record, I hope to bring back XMX Israel in 2020 at some hotels. I don't know if it's gonna be this hotel. We'll be happy. But Tel Aviv. Everybody wants Tel Aviv, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I tried that. You have to help me connect with some Tel Aviv hotels. Yeah. Any event, let's talk about SEO. So these days, when it comes to SEO, all you do is buy PageRank and domain authority. 
in the old days? No, no. These days? Domain I still get emails yeah. from like, all right, my page rank is this, my DA is this, uh, but let's talk about really, real important stuff. The future of search. Is there a future in search? The answer well, is no. Th there's no, no future. No, there, there is a future in search. Uh, people will keep searching, but I think that a lot of uh, modifications in, in search and uh, the search results look different. Uh, there's the, the zero click issue of uh, Google competing with us. But mostly if we think about the future, we should, uh, we should speak about uh, voice and visual. Uh, and about uh, alternative ways for people to search, and uh, I think that uh, the main uh, the main ability of of Google or any search engine uh, is towards uh, being uh, more assistive to us. Uh, uh, we will speak with it. We will uh, send it uh, images, and it will tell us uh, what does it see. And uh, uh, the communication will be will be broader. I think that Google very much uh, envied Facebook because uh, today, Google, uh, when you people come to Google, they they know what they they need. I want something, I need a red hat, right. a red baseball hat, I go to Google, I click it in right. and I get my result. People are getting going to Facebook and Instagram and other mm -hmm. uh, Facebook assets all the time. Uh, they're hooked, they, they're there two, three hours a day. And I think that Google really wants us to be, uh, to, to come uh, uh, and, and use their services even if we don't really want, know what we want. That's, that could be, I mean, obviously Google Plus, they failed at that. Yeah. Um, that's why Sergey and Larry stepped down and see, that's not the real reason, but. We all know the real reason why Sergey and Larry stepped down. Why? <laughs> I, I thought it was Google Plus related. Google Plus? <laughs> Remember they put all their money behind Google Plus and then just compete with Facebook? Um, but they did a really good job with Gmail. Remember when they like, oh, we need user data. Yeah. And they launched Gmail and like everybody's on Gmail now. Yeah. Um, but it goes beyond that. And Facebook. they also, uh, they have a monopoly on all search. So yeah. Worldwide, almost. Yeah. 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 I don't, I'm not sure if I agree that Google's kind of jealous of Facebook. I'm not sure. I think that all the discovery and all the things that they're do, trying to, to, to hook us in uh, to services, the Google Now services, it's, it's something that uh, right. will help us to be more present in our lives. Not only uh, as something that is, uh, uh, we used to, to do as part of our, uh, our common, uh, common life. Yeah, I mean, Google's, obviously Google had a bunch of names for Google Discover, now it's Google Discover, but it was the Google Feed, then it was like Google Now. Yeah. And before that it was something else, I believe. Um, but they're pretty good at it, I think, Google Discover. I mean, not for me, because my searches are all over the place. Yeah. As you can imagine, I'm sure your searches are all over the place too, yeah. being an SEO. Uh, but for the average person, that's a Google Discover feed, it's pretty on target to what they at least search for, um, what they visit, because they have tracking like di digital um they have like ad display ads everywhere they know yeah. what you're on they know yeah. what you're searching for they know what you're they know a lot about us. um the question is does facebook know more because you're sharing very private information with friends but you don't share people share a lot more with google than they share on facebook i mean you're not posting on facebook you have this type of rash and you want to find a no, cure but, for it but you post it on whatsapp <laughs> Maybe. Do you? You're texting your friends. You're I have this rash. Friend, texting your doctor. You, you, uh, you're uh, taking images of your rash and sending it over. What Facebook got all that. A doctor <laughs> said, I, I've met with some SEOs that do work for doctors. And they're like, the patients never tell the full story to the doctor. But he, he will to Google. But they will to Google. Yeah, I know. And they'll search for things on Google that they would never tell anybody. So the question is. Dr. Google. Dr. Google, yeah. yeah. But you really, are you concerned about the zero click stuff that Rand Fishkin is talking about? I think there's a reason to be concerned in, in one way, but we shouldn't be uh, very much compulsive about it because this is part of a, of a modification that the, the, the search industry is going through. Uh, I think that organic results, uh, we should remember for, for that uh, at first when Google came with organic results, it was a great present to us all yes. because we had sites, we had, uh, we, we had assets and we, and now someone came in, so uh, Google got to be credited for that. Yes. So, uh, uh, of course, that if a site loses 20, 30, 50 percent of its traffic, it hurts. But I think that uh, the, the good sites should adapt. Uh, you should also uh, understand if and how you will get into these snippets and uh, you will go, uh, uh, your visuality won't be harmed because uh, if someone, if I have the height of a certain mountain in Israel and uh, the user won't get into the site, but he will know that the, the result came from my site. It's not as good, but it's good enough uh, in, in many cases. And we should see what, what can we do with this. So, uh, of course, we have to adapt. We have to use uh, more uh, multi-channeling. We have to, uh, to understand that uh, organic, uh, in many cases, couldn't be our, uh, our main and only concern. Um, yeah. I mean, it was interesting because like when Google started to give feature snippet answers via Google Voice, and that Google started to say, you know, read the whole answer, the whole block of answers, and it'll be like source from yeah. this website. Yeah. So there is some type of branding component there, but 
it's, it's hard to say how that will change over the years. Um, and always Google's, Google's aware of it. The good thing is Google's aware of the concern from the webmaster, SEO, and the publishing community okay. um, about the whole making sure the whole ecosystem happy. The searcher, the advertiser, and of course the producer of the content. So hopefully that makes a difference, we'll see. Uh, in terms of how things change going forward. Um, because I think you've seen Google go through these shifts over the years, I'm sure you've seen it as well, mm -hmm. where Google's really, really concerned about, not necessarily the SEO community, but more about the publishing community. Yeah. And making sure to communicate a certain way, then that kind of dipped down. Google didn't care at all for a couple of years. Now they care more. So it's be interesting to see how things change in the next few years. Yeah. Uh, right now, I think we're at a, a time, at least when we're recording this video, where I think Google is very much so concerned about the SEO, webmaster, and publisher community. Um, you've seen it with all the webmaster conferences they're doing, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of their communication, they're hiring more and more webmaster trends analysts. Uh, of course, they have Danny Sullivan, who they poached from the SEO community and stole him and <laughs> gave him some juice and drank the juice, and now yeah. he's on the um, But What is he? He drank the juice. Ah, okay. The Google juice. Ah, I think, he, I thought you, you want to say that he's a trader or something. Like I've that. said that to him, you know, in person. he stabbed us in the back and yeah. stuff like that. I don't know if you watched no, that video, but no, no, it was no. blood everywhere, it was pretty no, bad. Now no, he reads our emails. <laughs> you yes. stabbed me in the back numerous times when you did that. So people in the in industry speculate that Google kind of encouraged you to, to step away from search engine land in order to work at Google. And it's entirely true. I spent 21 years of my life building up to this moment. <laughs> Do people ever go to you and say, hey, you're a sellout? Well, I know you have to say that. Any event, um, let's talk a little about the market, the areas of a little bit back in the old days. Like this is like talking about marketing for like metal or cannabis and other areas that you know, you, you said you want to talk about. So well, I think go I, ahead. I, 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 back in uh, 2004, 2005, uh, the organic results were very straightforward. In many niches and many uh, uh, places, you couldn't advertise. And today, uh, we have the same thing with uh, with certain uh, uh, niches, like uh, the medical cannabis. Uh, uh, as you probably know, uh, the le legislation and the compliance of cannabis in, uh, in the U.S. Uh, affects us all. And also here in Israel, there's a great hype of uh, uh, medical cannabis uh, interests, uh, but Facebook or uh, Google won't let us let us under advertise, and it seems like they really don't uh, don't care about the results. If we talk about Google, uh, which makes me uh, remember <laughs> the days of uh, 2005, 2004, where uh, the organic results were 90% of the results, right. um, and today in these fields it's uh, it's 100% of the result because in many cases you won't see snippets, you won't see site links, you only get. 10 blue links like in the old days and uh, for me it's fun and it's uh, entertaining and it's also an, uh, an opportunity because uh, we know what to do best at these situations uh, because th there aren't uh, any obstacles or uh, uh, let's call it uh, things that the, the user will look before. Today I think the results are very, uh, they're not straightforward, they're not uh, linear as before because uh, 15 years ago when I did a search, I used to look at the, at the results one, one after the, right. the other. I think that today you get something, you'll get a picture, you'll get a video, you get ads. So you have to wander around the, the screen. So the first result isn't as important as before. In many cases, you won't see it until you scroll uh, at the regular results. So, so it, you're, you're basically saying in this specific area or maybe all areas in search, and that, in, in many areas that Google don't let uh, advertisers uh, pay them, uh, I think that it's, uh, it's like a bit abandoned. Can you talk specifically? Is like image search really important for this area? Is uh, it videos? It will be. I think that image search for, cannab for cannabis is very important because you have uh, different types of uh, plants and you have different influences of, uh, of the plant. So yeah, so it, it could be very important. I think I, that image search is, uh, uh, we don't really, we're, we're not uh, young enough to understand the potential. Because uh, w when I see my kids, my kids don't search. They, they, they only uh, record themselves and send it to Google and ask for them. They also send pictures. So I think that the, the, the interaction with these tools will be a lot, uh, a lot different th than what we know. Uh, because these tools will be uh, something that's m more intelligent. And uh, the machine learning that Google are using will let them uh, also give us better results on the, on the zero clicks. Right. Today you'll get uh, answers, you'll get uh, things that are pretty much common because once, they, uh, one, once the algorithm sees a question in the text and the answer to it, it will know that it's something that it, it might be using uh, for a snippet. Right. I think that later on Google would be able to, to create a real valuable content from uh, based on machines or based on algorithms. And this is the, the real thing that we should be scared about. 
because uh, as, uh, as content writers, as publishers, if the automated content would be good enough, we'll have to find other jobs. It's, 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 it's true. I mean, you see even today, machines are really able to write content yeah. better than I can write content and I don't write content that well. Yeah. But in the future, it's going to be writing content better than real good writers. Yeah. And if I remember, I don't know if you watch, but Leo Laporte does This Week in Google. And he's always joking around how you could actually go ahead and take his voice. He has so much data on his voice because he does tons and tons of podcasts on a weekly basis uh, and video casts. And you can go ahead and basically use machines and use his voice and personality to make your own podcast using machines. Yeah. So it's not just content, it's, it's actual, not just written content, it's podcast yeah, audios, maybe videos audio, with yeah. deep fakes and stuff like that. Uh, it's gonna be I a have fun to say, I, I, I listened to a few uh, audio uh, conclusions <laughs> and uh, something that made by, by bots and uh, I, I can't hear it. But uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's, it's hard. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not as good as, uh, yeah. as, uh, as listening to a person, but uh, I think it will get there. Audio search was horrible in Hebrew. I think just up until a year and a half, two years mm -hmm. ago. Uh, everything in Hebrew comes later. This yeah. is our opportunity because we see what happens in the US and we, we always have a few months to, uh, to prepare. And uh, the audio search now in, in Hebrew is great. As I, of I yesterday, it, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you, the, yes, last night, Danny Sullivan confirmed, this is gonna come out a few months later, but yeah. Danny Sullivan confirmed that Bird is now supported in Hebrew and 70 other languages. So now your searches, long tail searches, uh, probably voice related, but also type in searches in Hebrew should take advantage of BERT. Yep. And the whole SEO community in Israel is burning down to the ground because BERT launched. And there's nothing you can do to optimize for it. Nothing. You're screwed. Just Clo joking. Close the business. Close it down. <laughs> Any event. Um, Go it's sell nice. falafel. It's nice to hear that some of the old days seem like they're coming back a little bit, especially around things you really can't advertise for. Um, and it's also around um, all this new voice stuff and all this other stuff. So it's exciting, exciting times. Any event, thanks so much for doing this. Um, how can you. people learn more about you, follow you? so forth uh, you can follow me uh, in Twitter alcoholic the, the best social media that I'm still on is Instagram also alcoholic or Facebook Gilad Sasson and if you want to make business LinkedIn not I, Google I, Plus not Google Plus I'm Gilad on LinkedIn <laughs> I'm the first Gilad on LinkedIn oh. just uh, congratulations <laughs> yeah. LinkedIn is one of the first social networks actually yeah. one of the early ones yeah. so. anyway thank you so much appreciate it